Hello guys. So, I need to get... I need to really start being more consistent with my uploads. So then, I'm gonna start doing that. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys about, in my opinion, the best idle game to ever exist. I have started playing Idle On, which apparently is another amazing idle game. So I'm trying that out, and I'm probably gonna make a review of it. Uh, so for those who have watched my videos for a really long time, let's let's see when the last video on this game I made. Uh, I made it quite some time ago, like like way for like risk of rain let's see hmm i've not played this game in over a year and record it keyword record it i did play this game yeah, so two years ago, I have not played this game in two years, and man, I came to this game like last year and I started playing it again, I made a whole new save and I started grinding the hell out of the game, and I was astonished on how good the game looks now. The icons look amazing, the flasks look amazing, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on a video. And I want to just see the old comparison. I also want to hear... And holy my voice. So, flasks were actually the same then. I remember them. They had an old icon. I missed that icon. Oh man, this game. This game is awesome. Um, I'm probably, once I get further into the game, I'm probably going to restart make a video on progression if I feel like it uh, just because I genuinely love this game this game is probably this is the first game I actually made a series on they also change yeah they, so the leaves also look different ish um so I kind of want to do on a this is what it is now so they've added cards Artifacts, items, materials. Man, they, they've they added so much stuff. They still have DLCs. I did buy a couple of them. Because I like the game and I want to support it. Plus, perks are always awesome. Uh, this is what my gem shop looks like. Right now. I haven't leveled anything up in the... That... So, man, I really enjoy this game, and the game is so enjoyable, and I'll explain why in a second. Mulch, that's new. Trading is not new. Crafting is not new. Actually, I, th I think it might be new. Alchemy is, I don't know. I don't think it's new uh, from the last time I'm playing. War Avengers, definitely new. MLC, I'm very sure, is new. Um, yeah. Challenges were not new, but I was pl playing when they added it. Um, cheese, beer, all of that. And man, I, re I remember the... Uh, and you know, if the person who uh, watches... Who commented the specific thing? Um, well, yeah. yeah. Ah, uh, and then, okay, now on to why I think this is the best idle game to exist. It has so much you can do actively, 
if you like just watching numbers go up, this is the biggest thing you could... This is like the best game to play if you enjoy just numbers racking up drastically. Because like, from a perfect example of this is when you start off and you unlock crafting. And then you just get a, like a basic leaf. It's still like a two times multiplier. And you're like, it's crazy. Um... Also, this game's just really has a lot of content. Like, I have, I think, 200 hours on the game. Um, I have, let's see. I'm genuinely curious on how many hours I have. 114.6 hours on the game. I don't know how many I have on this specifically specific save. I wonder if it's like I don't think it's here. I don't know how to check. But I really like this game and as I was so, sorry, I'm getting off track. I'm sorry. Um so this game has a lot of content. This is the first area. All of these all of these first area leaf galaxy then i have a whole other area i have four more areas i have had the opportunity and i can this is the last area i have floor 100 unlocked um i just can't beat it in fact i get demolished um pets are awesome they they're so simple buffs yet they're so drastic but also not drastic at the same time trading is an amazing feature right like at the start you're like why why would i want to ever do this it takes two hours to do it but then once you level up and you get better you're like oh my god you can make it two minutes and that's just literally one of the biggest milestones i've ever had right now and crafting is one of my favorite things in the game so far, I would say. It's so unique. There's so many traits and there's so many things that just, depending on what you want happen, you can make it happen just with crafting. So, like, for an example, uh, actually, I just don't need this anymore. Uh, I accidentally removed all of my elite crafting. So I had to remake it, and while remaking, I was like, wow, this is tedious, but really fun. And I'm like, wow, it's just so drastic. My maxed out Ancient Leave with four shards gives me a total of a 800,000% trade global multiplier. That is good. <laughs> like... That is extraordinarily powerful, and I love this game because of it. Because it feels like you're always you're always progressing. Sometimes there's that point where you're like, there's not much I can really do. All you do is wait, or you can get started on the one feature that I'm going to talk about in a little bit that I absolutely despise. Um, the Leaf Tower is very interesting it adds pve uh, like a pve perspective into the game uh and there's so many floors like if you go to milestones and then the tower the milestones all all go all the way up to 450,000. that is crazy i'm on 70 750,000 for my milestone and for the pyramid i am at 70 no 90. Yeah, um, and it is just crazy to me, and I love the fact that it does all this. Um, it's so easy later on, and I, I like how, at a certain point, certain things just become useless, and they're not going to help you. One of these are the leaves, right? Most of the leaves, like I have all the way up the sand leaves, easy peasy, that's because of seeds. I love seeds. Best feature in the game. Probably. Um, 
And that takes a lot off of you because you're like, I have to manage all of these tab, all of these tabs, just continuously uh, opening them. And you're like, oh, this is so terrible. Why would I want to do this? But then you're like, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you reach the point where you're like, I don't need to do this anymore. This is awesome. Like, I have the max bag out, and I have reached max leaves for everything except ancient leaves. And I'm just astonished, because it's so nice how, like... Oh, man, it's hard to describe. Um... It's just astonishing how well this game does it. Also, it updates with... Every time it updates, it's really unique and really interesting. The last one I read, I'm not there yet because it's a whole new area. Uh, it's the Soul Forge, which is like a completely new feature. And there's an update coming out in like a week or so. And hopefully going to be completely unique and once i get better i'm probably going to record more now i want to talk into the next feature the feature i despise of this game challenges i hate challenges so much i did take a break as you can see for i started a challenge and then i just never played the game for a while um then i got back into it it is just so dumb. So, so, so dumb. These challenges. So for those who don't know, the challenges is, well, a challenge. Some of them you need to do specific things. Get 10 curses in the Borb Claw Machine. Uh, Petless, which took me a long time because... Um, I went AFK. No pets. It is so painful and so tedious. You can run both of them at the same time. Like, I can start a uh, bingo one right now if I wanted to. And then I can just continuously change. Which I do like. Oh, wow. That's actually, like, a really easy one. Well, I'm going to keep that. Jeez. Um, but I just, the game is like so fun and it doesn't actually feel repetitive. This starts a little boring, but later on, I, even when you are just AFKing, like I'm AFKing the witch so I can get some essence. And I, could, I got a bunch of essence. Even then, all I do is just leave it in the background. It takes up literally, like, no CPU. Uh, it's a small game. You can just run it in the background, and you'll be completely fine. Um, and you would progress so much. Like, it doesn't... I have... I feel like... I don't want to say this, because I have forgotten. I have yet to run in a huge uh, roadblock. I feel like this one singular roadblock... That I that literally made me stop playing was the um, cursed pyramid because the cursed pyramid was a pain. Practically, uh, you need a lot of beer. Uh, beer you get from either trading in the with the NPC at the bar, or the main way you get it is from trading. Trading. Uh, you need a lot of global, uh, multiply to actually get enough beer. Like, when I started doing a bunch of stuff, I'm like, oh, wow, this is dumb. I'm only getting one beer. Even if your global, uh, trade level is, like, 30, you're only gonna get one beer. I think you need, no, like, if it's 29, you'll only get, I think 30 is the first point where you get a huge multiplier, depending on your global trade multiplier. Um, so, like, now I get 171k beer, which is a lot. 
I don't actually need beer anymore. I mainly just need cheese and borbs. And one other feature. Borb Ventures. I am not too far into it. So I don't have like an amazing kind of like representation of what to really do. If you get what I mean. Um, so what I'm trying to say is... Board Ventures is really enjoyable, and I really like the addition of it, but I also feel like it's really bad. Like, I don't think there's any actual way to automate it. Like, it automatically puts things in and starts it, like, uh, you can for trades, which makes it a lot more active. And the only thing you need is refresh time, which is really painful. Also, this game has... The game's also pretty confusing. Like, I needed to watch a 20-minute video explaining um, crafting to me. Because crafting, I was like, what? Because it's just genuinely really annoying to understand. Shards took me a while to understand... Um, another thing that I want to get into is the paid aspect slash pay to win, pay to play. I don't think this game's pay to win. It is so much easier, obviously, to progress through the game with it. But genuinely, the gems is not the good thing. You... At the start, yes, it's, like, crazy helpful. But as soon as you get two-minute trades and you level up your trades a little bit, you can get eight gems from a trade, a singular trade. I got five. You get s maximum, I think, is eight gems per trade. Like, if you find the gems. Um, I'll try to find one. I, I can't find them, especially when you boost them. It's uh, good. But, so I get most of my gems not from daily rewards. I get it mainly from trading. Which, which actually, that's another thing I want to get into. The most major thing you could get, kind of where I am in the game, is two-minute trades. And earlier, the only video, the guy, uh, Leaf Blowing Revolution... The YouTuber, the person that makes amazing guides. Like, if you get confused on the game, just search it up. He has guides on where you should be, what point in the game. Um, it's very, very helpful. And I love the fact that he does it, especially on an unknown game. It's so nice. Um, but one thing is, he does not explain very well how to get two minutes trades. And... Originally, the way he makes, the way he phrases it, makes it feel like two-minute trades are, like, so difficult to obtain. And then, I wanted to know more about the game, so I went on the wiki. Which, the wiki is useful, but it's not super useful. Now, the requirements for this major, major point, it's really tiny. Like, I'm gonna be honest really tiny all you need is a level 10 penguin level 10 water leaf and a level 10 butterfly out that is very easy to do and then um if you want to uh make it even better or making some of the upgrades not needed you can just get better pets and better leaves then um, you also need the Trader's Crunch Challenge to minus 15% delivery time. But you, ca you can do one thing to reduce it without needing to do that painful challenge, which is what I do. Scrolls! Scrolls are awesome. They give you pretty decent buffs. And they're really easy to get. I have 100 of most. I have 100 of almost every scroll. And all my scrolls last for 5 days. How do you make them last for five days? Well, simple. Crafting. Crafting can literally buff almost everything. It's crazy. 
And it's such a major, major buff, too. Like, it's genuinely awesome. Also, now I'm re... Okay. Just wanted to make sure I didn't lose those. I... This game's awesome. And I highly recommend playing it if you haven't. It's free. It's not very pay-to-win. It's so enjoyable. And maybe my favorite idle game ever. Or currently, it is my favorite idle game ever. And if you're not into idle games, I still recommend giving this game a try. Uh, I recommend, before quitting, I would say try to get to at least past BLC, Big Leaf Crunch. From that point, when you get, like, halfway to um, MLC, Mega Leaf Crunch, then I recommend, if you don't enjoy it, don't play it. But... I really enjoy this game, and I hope you try it, uh, and you don't like it, you don't like it. Anyways, have a good day. Uh, I will probably make some videos on the game, like major points if I want to. Um, I will also try to start uploading more, believe it or not. I recommend you don't believe it, because if I don't, you guys won't care, because you guys don't believe it. So... Believe it or not, I will try. Keyword try. I am terrible at uploading, mainly because I have no idea what to actually ever upload. Um, yeah. Anyways, have a good day. Please, I haven't... I don't ask as much, but I wish... I kind of wish I did because, um... You know, I've been... Eh, never mind. Anyways... I hope you enjoy. See ya.